Euro 5, Maria here bringing you a five minute stretch. You can pair it as your cool down. So right away, let's put our hands on our hips and take a few hip circles here, going nice and slow, making a super big circle one way. That's three and then go the other way. So now to the other side, really try to draw a full circle. Yes, get into the sides of the hips, nice. Come to center, lean over towards your left right arm overhead. You can use your left hand here to press into your side body, create length, and switch over to the other side. Really press into your feet, oh, it feels so good. Space between the ribs, awesome. Now. Uh, right arm up, turn your left foot out to the side and then start to flat back over. Reach out through your right fingertips, press into your left heel and then bring yourself up, other arm. All right, so now the right toes go out, over at a diagonal, flat back, keep your navel to spine so you really create length and feel that stretch that's happening through the back of your right leg. Go ahead, come back up, heels in, toes out, rock it down, sway it side to side. If you wanna get a little creative through your shoulders here, you can twist side to side. Mm, don't forget that breath, maybe inhaling as you're up, exhaling as you come down. We do a lot of dancing with our inner thighs active, so this usually feels super good. Go ahead and come up, take a moment to bring your left Elbow up towards the sky, right fingertips can meet it and then side bend over, getting again a little stretch to the side body, even through the tricep. Ooh, yeah. Switch it out. That's it. Strong feet. Oh man. Turn over towards the right and then have your um, back heel high over your toes. Now you can bend your back knee, tuck your tailbone for this one. So really tuck. You're gonna start to feel a little bit of a stretch on the front of the um, back leg and then side bend away from that leg. Side bending here. This is a nice release for the hip flexors. And go ahead and come on up. Walk the back foot in, flex the toes of the leg that's out in front of you. You can reach down for your toes, but you really don't have to. Nothing changes really. Draw your toes towards your kneecap, press the heel into the ground, long spine, and go ahead and drop your weight forward. Reach back, grab a hold of your foot, and again, press your hips forward. So good. This one can be a little wobble-tastic, so if you need to go ahead and put your hand on the wall and start over, all good. Step back, turn it around. Let's do the other side. High lunge, bend the back knee, tuck your tailbone, really squeeze forward. Oh, like someone's punching you in the gut. It's a love tap. Okay, from here, arm up from that same leg that's back, side bend away from it. Do you think a little bit about your inner thighs supporting you here so that we stay up. It does require some balance. Bringing yourself up, back foot in, flex the front foot, send your tailbone back, long spine. Draw the toes of that front leg towards your kneecap, feeling a stretch to the back of the leg, the calf. Ooh, nice. And then come on up, shift your weight forward, reach back for your foot. Doop. Again, you know what it's like to press your hip forward, so do it here. You really wanna think about your tailbone coming forward. Nice. And then I notice my shoulders rolling forward so you can roll that back, and if you need a wall, hey, go ahead and lean on a wall. Ask for that support. Let it go, step it back. Let's take a few breaths to finish here. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, draw it down. Inhale, full breath. Exhale, draw it down, last one. You can take your hands behind your back this time, interlace the fingertips, puff up your chest. Yes, that was a five minute stretch, cool down for you. Thank you for tuning in, I hope you feel open.